Happy. Howdy. Okay, happy Friday. Um, it is 30 degrees here in Indiana, so now we are wearing our big winter jackets again. Uh, we still have the heater running on our hot water heater just to keep from freezing. Tonight we're going to install our uh, puck lights into the ceiling. So Andrew is reading the directions. <laughs> late so we're just planning on starting to install the lights maybe run the wire and then tomorrow we can actually uh, do the holes and install the light fixtures here is the uh, lights we are installing they're actually uh, marine lights so these are just gonna go right up here all these front area lights will be controlled by one switch that'll be over here and then the kitchen area lights will be controlled by a switch over here and then in the back bedroom and bathroom we're doing different lights so right now like i said we're just installing the puck lights for the living room and the kitchen Those light switches that I purchased were correct. Uh -huh. Okay. We will see. Want to hold that? Yes. And that one. I don't understand electrical. Z -z understand electrical so how do you know if this is correct mm -hmm. just wait for like fire or something and you're like oh maybe that wasn't correct um, okay okay i think this is tiny tiny Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. I was really trying to screw it. Okay, so our light switch for the kitchen and our plug-in for the kitchen are both installed. Now we're just going to start running our wire up and then I drew little circles of where the lights are going, but we're not gonna actually put the lights up today. Uh, we're just gonna run the wire and then call it a night. <laughs> okay, so um, we're all done for tonight. We got those outlets thingies in and then uh, ran some wire and now we are all done. So we're gonna go eat. Yay. Good morning. So yesterday we got our lights hung and we got a lot of our ceiling back up. So um, today I have on my painter's clothes, aka these pants I got when I was probably in like fifth grade that are now high waters, in this sweatshirt from I don't know where. Today I am hoping to get the rest of the ceiling back up and then um, paint it. This is our old ceiling color. It was, it, it's a gray, but it was actually a stain and it was my first stain I've ever done. I rolled it on, so I obviously didn't really stain it. Um, so I bought a 
light gray color, which is lighter than this. It's almost kind of whitish. I'll have to show you, but I am planning on painting the roof or the ceiling today. So hopefully we can get all that done and I can use my painter's clothes. tongue and groove because of course you know we're in a pandemic so we probably shouldn't go to the store um but we still have to do this and then all these sides we haven't started on the sides yet so hopefully we have enough board take a break real quick from the video and explain how grateful I am for all of this. I mean, I am just so blessed to have stumbled upon this bus and I am so uh, lucky to have friends who help build and uh, to have met Andrew who has, I mean, gone from living in an apartment with a bunch of guys to living in a tiny bus with his girlfriend and helping uh, build it and create this journey and I am just so grateful for everything. And I'm lucky for a mom who lets me park my bus in her driveway in the middle of a neighborhood. <laughs> I'm very, very lucky. So yes, back to the video. beadboard. Uh, I was hoping we would have enough to get the rest of the top and the sides done, but we don't. So we uh, ordered three more cases from Lowe's and we're going to do the curbside pickup thing. So I guess you just pull in and they load it in your car. We already paid online. So, so we're not trying to go anywhere. And then we also have to pick up uh, groceries too, which is also curbside pickup. What's that face for? Nothing. I was just looking at the video. <laughs> Which is also curbside pickup. So we're going to do a big old swing through town and get uh, the stuff from Lowe's and the groceries. So a little break for now, but I'm still hoping to use my high water pants to paint today. <laughs> getting the rest of these boards up. Honestly, the thing about doing a bus conversion, everything I feel like takes a lot longer than planned. So today I thought, oh, easy peasy. We're gonna put the boards up and then I can paint. Well, now it's going on six o'clock and 
we're just now finishing getting the boards up. Kind of. We still have this whole side to do. So we will see what we can get done tonight. And then hopefully this week I can paint because tomorrow's Monday. Right here is where our uh, wall is going to be. So this will be white and this will be that gray color. So white, white, gray. I think that having the white up here, white down here will make everything just feel taller. I think we're gonna go with this very thin, simple trim. It'll just be covering up um, all our little mistakes. So yeah. And then I'll paint this white to go with the walls. It is now eight o'clock. We're getting tired and grumpy and hungry, but we're gonna try to just get this part of the ceiling up so that I can paint tomorrow. So we're gonna try to rush through it real quick, hopefully. I don't know what really quick is anymore, but. kind of struggling over here um and my mom just came out and said hey order pizza it'll be ready in five minutes so we have to get pizza but we are done for tonight uh hopefully i can paint tomorrow so that's all and andrew anything to say no i'm tired it's been a long weekend don't Kicked forget our house. waters okay <laughs> 